Hi there, my name's Amal, and I was asked to be your dermatologist today. It's nice to meet you. Um, we're just going to do some basic things. I'm going to begin with asking you a few questions about your skin, and I'll do a bit of an examination just looking at your face, and then I'll recommend some products for you to perform your skin regimen. How does that sound? Sounds good. Let's go ahead and get started then. Okay, I'm just going to be filling out a few things. Okay, the first question I would like to ask is, when you wake up in the morning, how does your skin look? It looks oily? Okay. Do you find particularly your um, nose area and T-zone to be oily? Yes? Okay. <coughs> How do you feel about your pore size? Do you feel they're visible and would you like to shrink them? Yes? Okay. Where do you notice it the most? On your nose? Yeah, that's usually a problem area. Um, the next question is do you need to power very frequently? Get rid of excess oil. Yes? Okay. I'm having, um, I'm pretty sure I'm figuring out what your skin type is pretty easily. It's very similar to mine. I don't need to ask your skin shade because I can see it quite clearly. Okay. Do you exfoliate? often? Two times a week? Okay. Do you wear sunscreen? Sometimes. Okay. And how does it feel on your face? Greasy sometimes? Okay. Let's keep going. We're almost complete and then I will examine your face a bit just to get an idea of what we're working with. Um, do you break out anywhere besides your face? Do you get chest breakouts on your back? You do? Okay. It's very regular, nothing to worry about. Um, does your hair get oily easily? It does. And you're probably wondering why we ask that here. And it's usually if your hair gets oily, your face tends to get oily as well. And it can cause problems with your skin from your hair touching your face. So, okay. Just like I thought, your skin is oily. Acne prone skin can be a combination, which I will look for in the examination because some people can be very oily in the T zone, but their cheeks can be very dry. Now that we filled those out, I'm just going to get very close to your face and examine. You can close your eyes for me. Thank you. Okay, see oiliness in your nose, like you explained. A bit of blackheads, which we can treat. Your chin. Okay. Your cheeks aren't that bad. They're not very oily, so I see a bit of the combination skin I was talking about. Okay, I'm just gonna take it. Okay? Okay, great. Now that we've filled that out, okay, I have some products I'm gonna recommend for you. And at the end, if you would like to purchase some, you're more than welcome to. Or, I can also give you samples, because I realize that buying products that you haven't used yet and sometimes they can be a bit pricey. It's a bit daunting. We want you to be sure that you like them and you go away happy. So I'm just going to get started. These are full size um, products. First what we want to start with are we'll do cleansers and then just go from there. And I'll give you the order in which these products should be used. And I have one more question. 
question. This has nothing to do with skin type. This is more lifestyle. Um, about how much time do you want to spend on your skincare? Not too much. Very reasonable. Because everyone's busy these days. I don't want to give you so much to do that it's overwhelming. Okay. Just getting these products out. Okay. For cleansers, I have this Clean and Clear Advantage 3-in-1 Foaming Acne Wash. This is oil-free, which is great for you, it will not clog your pores. It cleanses your skin, treats pimples, and helps to prevent them from happening as well. Um, this one is really great. It has a salicylic acid in it, which sort of as dries out the skin a bit, but not uncomfortably so. And this one's by Johnson & Johnson. It's fairly cheap. Um, will run you about eight dollars, so it's more friendly on your wallet. You like that? <laughs> a lot of people do. And the next one, this is a really great one. This is the one I recommend. It's from Clinique. I'm gonna bring you down a bit. Here we go. Okay, it's from Clinique, and it's a mild facial soap. And this comes in their three-step process. This is the first step course, and this also has salicylic acid in it, um, it has no fragrance, the other one has a bit of fragrance, but it's not overwhelmingly, so it's more of a clean fragrance, and this one is quite lovely, it uh, foams up really nice, this side, and that'll run about, it depends the price depends on if you buy it separate versus with the set, and um, depending on the size as well. They start at 17 for smaller sizes and get larger as you go up. Um, let's see what other ones we have. We um, carry smaller sizes of other cleansers that I don't really recommend. Per se, those are my two tops for high and low end. But um, we can special order something if you've seen it on TV or have any idea. But those are my recommendations. The next step is often forgotten about in the skincare world, but I like to preach its importance. Importance and its toning. Toning just gets rid of the excess oiliness and. This is um, Witch Hazel. You've probably seen this in drugstores. And what it is, is natural witch hazel. And it does contain alcohol. Most astringents do. And this one is quite mild for a toner. Some toners can be, can burn when you apply them. But this one is pretty good. I'm not, it's very cheap as well. Um, the only thing would say it's a bit of a downfall with it is the scent. Um, it's not intolerable. It's just very unpleasant. So I'll put that to the side. If you're interested in that, we'll go back to it. The next toner I'm going to go over is the second step from Clinique. The, top, the system I was talking about. This is the clarifying lotion, also known as toner. This one is a bit more on the expensive side versus the drugstore brand. It has more al alcohol, and the scent isn't the same as the witch hazel. Um, this one is more of the alcohol scent, and you will get a bit of burning with this one but I feel it cleanses better, it gets the dirt out, it's more effective, and you use less. And in the end, you might, it might end up being cheaper because you use less product. This is my recommendation, but again, it is a bit up to you.
next toner is Sea Breeze. This one is quite popular. Also, drugstore brand. This is 1% salicylic acid, so it's great for your skin. And most of it is benzoic acid. And again, it burns more than the witch hazel. Um, it's very deep clean. This is for oily skin. Witch hazel is for oily skin as well, but this one is very deep, penetrating, clean. Um, it does have that tendency to burn a little bit when you first apply. So I would say that it's downfall and the scent is similar to the Clinique Step 2. And it's drugstore so it'll be on the cheaper side. Um, sorry about that. Um, next thing I want to talk about is moisturizing. And you're probably thinking since you have oily skin that moisturizing is the last thing you want to do. But that is the farthest thing from the truth. It's a complete fallacy that if you're oily you shouldn't moisturize. Because what that ends up doing is makes your skin overcompensate and so it produces more oil. So what you want to do is use a very lightweight moisturizer, something meant for oily skin. And my top recommendation, and this has great reviews and my clients love it, is the Clinique Dramatically um, Different Moisturizing Gel. Now there is a lotion version of this and that's for dry skin, so you want to be careful if you do buy this directly from Clinique, you get the gel, okay? It's more lightweight than the pie. Looks like this. Okay, you can see. And it comes out and it just glides on very smoothly. Like that, okay? It leaves your skin feeling very soft greasy. I really, really couldn't like this. The only thing is, it's a bit pricey again, like all Clinique's products, but I feel it's well worth the price. Um, the next one is another lightweight moisturizer. It's a bit on the cheaper side. I always like to give options. This is Velocity. It goes on very similarly the Clinique. I find that this packaging though will sometimes give you more than you should use. Um, you only want to use a pea-sized amount. Okay? Too much. And this looks... This one takes a bit of time to dry versus the Clinique which is dries very easily. It doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy, but it will with time versus the Clinique. I think the Clinique lasts longer and does a better job. Okay, that's for the moisturizers. Next, what I want to talk about is some exfoliating scrubs. And I find that the best scrub I've found is actually a drugstore brand well known in the community and it's the St. Ives apricot scrub. <laughs> I'm sure you know about this one. And the scent is really great, nice fresh clean apricot smell. And it's great for the blackheads I was mentioning earlier that you had. This will get rid of them and leave your skin feeling very soft and it'll remove the dead skin. And this has salicylic acid in it as well. Most skincare products do. Um, this is great. Dermatologists always recommend this one. And um, it's my top pick, really. And this one's for your face, okay? There are different kinds, as I will show you. And it's cheap. So <laughs> it's a win-win, yes. Um, the next one is the Yes to Carrots Exfoliating Body Scrub, okay? This one is not meant for the face. You have to be careful when I 
says body, it's meant for body, face, face, use different things. You don't want to put something that might harm your eyes on your face. This one, it's, uh, it's a very clean scent, um, not much to it. This gets rid of the dead skin cells on your body, and it also leaves your skin feeling tight. Sometimes it can reduce the appearance of cellulite. Yes, I love it too. So you're welcome to sample some of those. And I have one more exfoliating body scrub. This is the number 23 Eucalyptus, okay? This one has an energizing blend with vitamin E. This has a bunch of added stuff into it. It'll enhance your skin. It will reduce the appearance of cellulite to an extent. And <coughs> you want to use this one with a washcloth. It's a bit more gel, watery, so it'll be more, not as thick as the other ones, yes. And when you exfoliate, I didn't know if I mentioned this or not, or if you knew it, you want to go in circular motions. That'll just get the desired effect, okay? And this scent is very reminiscent of like when you go to the beach and you get a sunburn and you use the aloe gel. It smells exactly like the aloe gel. It's quite nice. Um, that one is on um, the cheaper side as well. Um, the exfoliators I usually find that there's not much different with the high-end ones versus the low-end ones. It's all the same thing sometimes. And for these, the next thing I want to talk about are masks. Um, you could probably do these once a week just to draw the impurities out of your skin. This is the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. Helps dry up acne, um, rinse away blackheads, and shrink your pores, which you were talking about. They were a bit visible and large, and this will reduce the appearance. This one, when it goes on, has a bit of a tingly feeling, and what you want to do is apply it very a bit thick, okay? And let it set on your face for about 15 to 20 minutes, and rinse off with a hot, well warm, depending on your taste, um, washcloth, and it should come off. I really recommend this one. And another one for oily skin. This helps with blemishes as well. It's the Tea Tree Oil Face Mask by BYS. Yes. Basically what you want to do is apply to your face. Make sure your face is clean beforehand. Maybe cleanse with your liquid soap. And then apply it thickly. And let it set for about 15 to 20 minutes as well. And then rinse off, okay? You don't want to get any of these near your eye area because it's very delicate. You don't want to touch it, okay? And this one is a minty smell as well. And it's green. And I recommend both of those. Those are two different ones you um, switch up between the weeks. Okay. That's it for the main products. Um, you would like samples? Okay, that's great. Um, which ones would you like? You like the Clinique? Okay, I thought so. That's our number one seller here. Okay. Um, I have little um, sample jars I'll use for things that we already, that we don't have carry samples of. So, let me get your Clinique stuff ready, okay? I'm just going to show you what the samples look like before I place them in the bag. We go. We have little complimentary bags we will give you. Yes, of course. Here is the first step. Let me show you. I'll be placing them in your pink set. Little clutch, okay? Here is your soap, ma'am. Okay. Step two. And then step three the moisturizing gel. 
Um, okay. Anything else you would like to try? We're gonna throw in some complimentary things as well for you because you're such a joy. Okay. Yes? Okay. You would like some of the scrub? Okay, we can do that. Which one? The apricot. <laughs> I love that one as well. Okay, here's your jar. Might have a bit of bread. Okay. Is that enough? Okay. Okay. And another thing I'd like to go over with you. Um, not necessarily skin care, but it's good for oily skin. This is the spray flash from Sephora. I noticed that you like to wear makeup and you're into cosmetics. So I know with oily skin sometimes um, your makeup can wear off beforehand. So would you like a sample of this? What you do is spray it on after you apply your makeup and it sets it. You put Great. I'm just going to put it in this little spray bottle for you so you can carry it around in your purse, okay? I'm also going to throw in a sample of makeup remover wipes. These are designed for oily skin and it's very important to remove your makeup every night. And also some blotting sheets from Avon. What you want to do with these is when you feel your face getting oily, you want to just blot where the spots are. Okay, you don't want to rub. Here we go. And I'm going to also throw in an eye cream from Estee Lauder. This is just to keep that area very moisturized and smooth. I don't want it drying out with your new regime, okay? Sounds good. Okay, great. And also, right now he are just having a special on some lotion for your body. It's very moisturizing and they're wanting to get the word out about their new product. So I'd be glad to give you some. There we go. And I'm also going to throw in a bit of this exfoliator for you. You aren't this one is brand new. This is from Origins. I haven't tried it out yet, but um, they're doing a bit of a testing. There's nothing wrong with it. So if you like it, we'll order you full size. And also, I'm going to throw in just a complimentary bath soap. It's very important to keep your body clean and that'll prevent excess oil all over. Okay. And this is just a lemongrass scent. I'm going to put it in here for you. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to put it aside for you. And I also have some at-home remedies I would like to share. Um, because here we believe in helping with your skincare. We're not here just to sell products. We want to improve your skin overall and help you. So, for your skin type, um, what I like to do Sometimes you might notice those blackheads coming up. What you would want to do is get um, one egg and you would want to separate the yolk from the white. You'll take the white and you'll whip it until you see a bit of bubbles, a bit of frothiness, okay? And then you will apply it to your face and take either tissue or toilet paper and just place it over you and let it dry, okay? And then you'll feel tight in your skin and 
once it's tight, you can't move your base. You're gonna peel it away. And what it'll do is it'll take off the excess skin, dead skin, and the blackheads, and also um, just make your face appear brighter, which is great. And another thing you can do is an aspirin mask. Um, salicylic acid is an aspirin, which is in a lot of these products you'll be using. So what you're going to do is take some water and maybe two aspirin. And place the water over the aspirin, maybe five drops, not a lot of water, because you want it to be paste. And let it soften, and then you're going to mash it and apply. And then once you feel it's dry, just wash with a washcloth, and that's about it. Do you have any more questions? No? Okay. Um, that's about it. Make sure to keep your pillow sheets clean as well, because sometimes that can make your face break out. Okay? Um, how was your visit today? Do you have, if you have any questions, you know, you can call the number on the card, and I'll be happy to answer them. And we hope to see you back in a few weeks to see you would like to buy any of the products or to do a follow-up, so yes, it's great to meet you.